Prostate cancer, it is the most common type of cancer in men behind skin cancer, killing tens of thousands each year. Now, a game changer. That's right, a new test validated by UCSF is giving doctors and some patients reason to celebrate. In tonight's KPIX5 original report, Kate Doe on the technology that may lead to better, more efficient and precise care. The problem with prostate cancer cells, once they escape and hide inside the body, it can leave doctors and patients in the dark. But now a new tool lights them up and finds them wherever they are. Meet Dennis Broad, husband, father, and grandfather. In 2014, this retired attorney from Marin got some bad news. Uh, I was diagnosed with a, a very severe case of um, prostate cancer. Dennis chose surgery. After the operation, no evidence the cancer had spread. His medical team was anticipating a cure. But a year later, something in his blood told a different story. A PSA test revealed a suspicious sign that cancer cells were hiding somewhere in his body. And my question was, where are the tumors? In cases like these, doctors don't know, and that poses a dilemma. Because we don't know where the disease is, it's very hard to treat. That is, until now. I, in my opinion, I would describe it as what I call a game changer. The test is called a PSMA PET scan. Through an infusion, doctors inject patients with a drug that contains a special molecule. This molecule, like a heat-seeking missile, hones in on a target, a protein found in abundance on prostate cancer cells. Attached to that molecule, a radioactive payload. When molecules first find, then bind to the target, the radiation lights up and reveals the hidden tumor on a PET scan. You see it because of the contrast of the brightness the dark allows you to see it. UCSF's Dr. Thomas Hope is a nuclear medicine physician. Along with researchers at UCLA, he studied the technique in about a thousand patients. Their results show the scan is so accurate it can detect prostate cancer cells anywhere in the body. It is allowing us to localize the disease much more accurately and easily. That accuracy carries a huge benefit. It gives us an idea of how extensive the disease is and uh, allows us to develop a treatment plan which is more precise. UCSF's Dr. Peter Carroll is a distinguished expert in prostate cancer and one of Dennis's doctors. He says the test can transform treatment plans, especially in those whose cancer has recurred. And we'll change the treatment plan. It turns out that many men who recur, recur in sites that we didn't think uh, were the sites that they uh, were most at risk for. Dennis has undergone five scans, and each time it's helped him make choices regarding treatment options. It's a part of the, the whole package that my treatment team has delivered to me to keep me alive. I have a rich, full life. I am I am very happy that I'm here, and I'm very grateful. Researchers are now studying if the molecules can carry more potent payloads of radiation. The hope is to one day light up these cancer cells and then snuff them out. In San Francisco, Kitto, KPIX5. Well, this technique has been used for several years in Australia and parts of Europe. The FDA only recently granted a thumbs up for its use at UCSF and UCLA.